Two. Okay, we're back now. We're on page 72. And we're looking here at Jesus telling priests to take the black veil away. Get back to the basics. And start bringing back the sacred into the lives and the souls and the hearts of people. Now he says there in that last paragraph at the top of page 72. For now, this is all that I will say to you. My heart speaks to your heart. So thus heart to heart. It is my joy to speak to you in this way. Trust me with everything. Be at peace. Allow me now to bless you from the tabernacle before you in which I am hidden, but living and full of mercy for all who approach me here. Now, here is the essence of sacramental love, which the laity once again have to be reunited in. Now, Alex brought up a good point earlier where those that are going through RCIA that are coming in from other denominations, once they become Catholic, appreciate what they have received because they've been through the black veil. And when they see this happening in the Catholic Church, they seek out other churches to which they find the way they were trained in RCIA. That's why you will notice a lot of parishes will have 35, 25 candidates for RCIA. Those people, don't kid yourself, they go around looking. Mm -hmm. And if they don't find the church that is conducive to what the Catholic Church teaches, they will not go there. They'll seek out a place where they can know where the Blessed Sacrament is. They know the central location of the altar. They know that the Blessed Sacrament is there where I could see Jesus, where there's devotion, faith, where Christianity is being taught, that it's not the ordinary routine of daily life, but there's the sense of the sacred that takes you from the ordinary into the sanctuary of the sacred temple of the Lord. That's what these people understand. And watch them when they go to church. They are the most devout, religious, and willing to volunteer for the parish. It's amazing. Ask for volunteers sometime in an ordinary parish that has become ordinary. You don't get them. Because people are too busy. You see, it's an ordinary place. So we don't, you know, we can't, we don't have time. Go to a parish where the sense of the sacred is there. Ask for volunteers. They're falling over one another. I've seen it. It's not like what Jesus said to Nicodemus. Unless you be born again of water and the spirit. Correct. And that's what Jesus is telling him right here. It has to be that sanctification of the divine. If it's not there, if the priest made things ordinary, then the ordinary becomes part of culture. And you don't get the volunteers. Because you people will say, geez, okay, we're having a dinner here. Well, we, we could volunteer down at the Eagles and do the same thing. Because they don't sense 
the idea of church. Yes. When we were raising our kids, our social life was the church. We, we did everything with the church. Everything centered around the church. Because of the sense of the sacred. Everything was centered around the church. Today it's not. Once you make the church an ordinary place of socialism, that is, even in the church proper, you notice it for yourself. When people start talking in church, the sense of the sacred is gone. No one ever said to talk in church. Nobody. And people should know better because they were taught. Yeah. 